Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Today's topic is about blood brain barrier versus blood CSF barrier. To deal with this presentation, we start with historical, then definition, type of capillary, capillary in the brain versus capillary in the rest of the body, continuous capillary and blood-brain barrier, trans-cell transport, fenestration, tight junction, peak glycoprotein, astrocyte claudine and occludine, blood CSF barrier versus blood brine barrier, GLU1 glucose transfer, circumventricular organ, neurohypophys, median eminence, pineal gland, subcommercial organ, subfornical organ, OVLT and area post strena. In 1885, polyrelation injected trapped and blue to the animal. All tissue of the animal were stained except the nervous system. The central nervous system and the peripheral nerve have not been stained by blue. What is blood-brain barrier? It's a selective semi-permeable membrane barrier that separates the circulating blood from the brain. Passive diffusion of water and liposoluble molecules, selective transport of glucose and amino acid prevent the entry of lipophilic neurotoxin. Blood brain, blood, blood brain barrier provides multiple functions. It stabilizes the neuron micro environment, it protects the neuron from neurotoxin, and maintains neurotransmitter within the central nervous system. It prevents free movement of chemical from blood circulation to central nervous system. Three types of capillary. Continuous capillary, brain and muscle. Fenestrate capillary, endocrine and glomerulus and sinusoidal capillary in the liver and kidney. All capillary of the body, there is a paracellular route of exchange between vascular system and interstitial fluid. As a consequence, large and polar molecules, which are hydrosoluble, can cross easily the interendothelium gaps. Presence of fenestration window allow the trans uh, the, the, the transit of this vesicle transport. Regarding blood brain barrier, capillary are continuous. There are tight junction in green, astrocyte, and P glycoprotein. Tight junction, no paracellular transport. Continuous capillary without fenestration. Transitosis is absent and pig glycoprotein, neurotoxin liposoluble substance that cross the endothelium are expelled by special guard called P glycoprotein. Astrocyte reinforce tight junction. 
Big molecule like plasma protein, polar molecule or toxic substance and proton cannot cross the barrier. Little molecule, liposoluble, water, oxygen and CO2 can cross the barrier. Regarding blood, blood CSF barrier, the capillary are fenestrated. And there is transcellular root and paracellular root. Blood CSF barrier, choroid plexus produce cerebrospinal fluid in the ventricular system of the brain. Endothelial cell lining choroid plexus are fenestrated. No tight junction. That means they can lead to paracellular and transcellular transport are present. Among ependymal cell lining in the ventricle, there are some modified cells called choroid epithelial cells choroid epithelial cells tight junction but no fenestration but no tight junction unlike the capillary that forms the blood brain barrier choroid plexus capillary are fenestrated and have no tight junction. The endothelium, therefore, does not form a barrier to the movement of small molecules. Instead, the blood CSF barrier at the choroid plexus is formed by the epithelium cell linked by tight junction. To make a parallel between blood-brain barrier and blood CSF barrier, capillary are continuous without fenestration. In blood CSF barrier, capillary are fenestrated. What about glucose? 90% of neuron energy comes from glucose. Large polar molecules that necessitate glue one because it is insulin independent. Circumventricular organ. There are physiologically leaking points in the blood brain barrier. These points are around the third and fourth ventricle. They are circumventricular organ. The first one is neurohypophysis. The second one is median eminence. The third one is pineal gland. The fourth one is subcommissarial organ. The five one is subfornical organ. The sixth one is OVLT and the seventh one is IRA postrema. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Make sure to put the like button and subscribe. Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.